Hello, hello. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> Testing. I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> I thought I wrote 4 p.m., but I guess I wrote 3 p.m. And for that, I am eternally sorry. <laughs> it's been one of those weeks, dog. It's been, it's been, you know, it's just been one of those. Does everyone have their ice water out? Is everyone... Oh, water, it's so good, right? Did I already show you guys the stickers? Cause I, Zach got them. I got an OK Boomer sticker. <laughs> I got the hello, it's ready. These are fun to explain to people. <laughs> They're like, what is this from? And I'm like, oh, it's just an inside joke, you know? It's always fun. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Miss Music Lover. Hey, Melinda. Hey, Alexis. Hey, Snooki. <laughs> Catherine Chavez. Hey, from Chicago. Love your videos. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Catherine. Hearts. How did they do the hearts? In oh, there it is. Let's kill this. Uh. <laughs> Tasha Daniels. Here's for the usual shenanigans. Happy New Year to all. We are all here. We all we all are happy to have the Petty Prince himself back in full effect. Oh, thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much. It's been fun. I hope you guys had a great holiday. I hope you guys. I know holidays can be iffy for some people. So, um, I hope you guys were able to have some fun. I'm here because I couldn't finish Justine's reaction to Nick's night. Oh, Nick's. That's meta. Justine did a reaction to a reaction. That's funny, dude. Is that what we're gonna start doing now? Just meta reactions. Um, Miranda, I've missed seeing your vids. Are you going to review Thousand Pound Sisters? Did you watch it? I actually haven't been watching it. I know that Zach has been doing reviews of them and I know that um, Yaba has been doing reviews of them. Um, I don't know. Like I enjoy the Slaytons, but like also they're kind of scammers. So like, at, so I feel a little bit of a type of way about, I don't know, considering, I mean, Amberlynn's a scammer too though, but like, I feel a little bit of a type of way about, I don't know, giving them more shine, I guess a little bit. I don't know. I mean, I know that that was a while ago, but also, I feel like Yaba and Zach are doing it and taking care of it. I'm going to have my thousand pound or my thousand, my 600 pound life review up tomorrow. Um, I've been, I have all my notes. I took all my notes on this bad boy. I've watched it one time taking notes. I'm going to rewatch it again tonight and take more notes. Um, so I hopefully I get everything that I want to talk about. But um, that'll be up tomorrow. 
Oh yeah, the Slayton's animal abuse. Yeah, I remember that too. Um. Oh my God, there's been so many of these already. Hold on. Tasha Daniels here for the usual. Did I already read that one? I think I read that one. <clears throat> oh, deranged mouse. Thank you so much for doing. Oh, that's right. So I turned on channel memberships right now. There's just one tier. Um, it's for the emotes. It's for the pe petty badges. You get yourself a loyalty badge for each month that you're still on, still a part of the membership. Um, I'm going to be doing more. I'm going to add more tiers as time goes on. But I also need to get some input input from you guys because I don't know what you guys would. I know I know a bunch of y'all are gonna say like make a Discord server. <laughs> so maybe um, I will do that. But I do have channel memberships turned on right now. Um, you get some like pretty cool emotes. Oh, I can't send them from here. Let me see if I can do them from here. Here they are. There's an oop one, there's a dog one, there's a mobility scooter, and there's a plate of orange chicken. <laughs> Those are the emotes so far. And I oop, I love the and I oop one. The and I oop one's so funny. <laughs> okay, what is that? So yeah, that's Deranged my Mouse. Thank you so much for being my first channel member. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Oh, Stacy in the house. Hey girl, hey. Hey, City Dweller. Oh, Brew Boo. Thank you so much for joining the membership. Oh, I need to read some of these things first. <clears throat> <clears throat> like one of those people. Lana Mae Folkies. Hi, stay at home mom. And I live for your videos. Never stop. Thank you so much. Do you like these hearts or do you like these hearts more? These hearts are cool too. Allison Wember, thank you so much for joining the gang. Petty gang. The gang, like we're like some Bloods and Crips or something. Um, Narf Narf, nice to see you again, Petty King. Thanks for tweeting about the fires in Australia. You've already done more than some politicians here. Dude, I don't know much about what's going on with like the prime minister over there. I do know that he people can't stand his ass right now because I believe someone... I think I read somewhere that he like okayed for like some religious building to get like restored or something. And it's like the whole entire continent is on fire, but we're not worried about that apparently. So if you can go onto my Twitter and look, I tweeted out, I believe it was the Red Cross um, to get some help because dude, there's like, I think I read somewhere that like something like a hundred million animals have died or something like a hundred million, 100 million that is fucking insane. Like that is absolutely bananas. So, um, oh my God, so many people are joining the members. Thank y'all so much for joining the channel members. I didn't really think a bunch of people would join. I just, I had these emotes made and I'm like, I want them to be used. Okay. So <clears throat> didn't someone refuse to shake his hand? I don't know. I'd probably refuse to shake his hand too because that shit's ridiculous. So yeah, if you can go and look up that tweet, um, <laughs> the orange chicken. I love the orange chicken emote. I also have other emotes. I have like s three more emotes. I have a shh, I said shh emote. <laughs> Dude, I wonder if Chantel's gonna like strike me for like taking that and then fucking making an emote out of it. But whatever, it's fucking funny. Um, 500 million? 500 million animals. Whoa. That's nuts. Brew Boo, I didn't even notice membership was a thing. I, I literally just activated it like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> but yeah, I have more emotes, but um, I have to get more members. So like the more memberships you get, the more emotes you can have. So right now I can only have four and I can only have six loyalty badges. But that I don't think I really honestly don't know if people are going to be having like a loyalty badge for like seven, eight, 12 months. Or I mean, I know people do that on Twitch, but I don't know. Um, also, if you subscribe to my Twitch channel... I will have the same emotes over there too. So my plans are for streaming or whatever, I'm gonna stream three days a week over there and then stream once a week over here. And um, I need to figure out the days. I think I'm gonna keep streaming here on Saturdays 
And then I'm going to stream during the week on Twitch over there. The thing that I really think is super cool about Twitch, and I want to get partnered really bad because they have this new program that they're rolling out where, like, if you have Amazon Prime, you can watch Amazon Prime shows with your audience, like, in real time. So if you both have, if, if you have Amazon Prime and you're on there, you can watch Amazon Prime shows. And I think it'd be so fucking fun to, like, watch, like, RuPaul's Drag Race or, like, all kinds. I mean, they have so many shows over there that are available for Prime. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so it will be like, I don't know. It'd be pretty cool. Like, but I think you have to get, um, I think you have to get partnered there first. I think, right. I'm an affiliate right now, but so starting next week on Wednesday, I'm going to start, I was going to start Monday, but I have to go to Irvine on Monday. Um, so starting next week on Wednesday, I'm going to be doing live streams over there three times a week and then every Saturday I'll do a live stream here. I, hopefully I can keep up with this shit. This is gonna be so much shit for me to do and school and work. Like, I think I can do it though. I just have to prioritize and schedule my time out. So, oh my God, is RuPaul on Prime? Yes, yes, yes he is, Bru Boo. Uh, I believe the first four or five seasons are available on Amazon Prime right now. So if I get partnered over there, then I can, we can watch those in like real time together. That'd be fucking fun, I think. We can watch anything that's on Amazon Prime together. Leaves to watch RuPaul's Drag Race. I don't blame you. I do not blame you. I miss you too, Caitlin. It's been a while. Okay, let me read some of these super chats. <clears throat> Melon the alien, always look forward to your content. I love you, thank you so much. Um, Lamika Thomas, hello, Michael. Love you so much. Thank you so. I love you so much. I love you so much. I don't know why I'm talking like that girl from um, Mad TV, like Miss Kim. <laughs> that it's so bad. Like you look back on that now, and it's like actually race. Like that's fucking super racist. That whole character, because I don't know if that woman is even Asian. <laughs> like that's so bad. Um, Emma Pinson. I've missed you, Petty King. Also, do you watch 90 Day Fiance? Would love to hear your opinion. I've been trying to get into 90 Day Fiance. I have so much that I have to catch up on. Um, I watched the newest episode yesterday, and that was crazy. Like, that was absolutely nuts. The one, is it Mart Marouche? Or, I don't know, the guy, I think he's from Turkey. But him and then the blonde girl that has like the three sons and like that that whole thing is crazy. The one chick that literally like brought her fiance from South Africa and then like left for like 30 days to go to Costa Rica. That was crazy. Like she's out of her mind. And that guy seems really dope or whatever. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to catch up on it. Spooky Babe, thank you so much for the super night. I'm Prego celebrating with MVP and Whataburger. I've never had Whataburger before. Everyone always talks about it. I live in California, so all we have is in and out here. We don't have, we do have Shake Shack, but it's in LA. I'm Smarks 1204. Thank you so much for the super chat. Allison Weber, missed you, Petty King. So happy you're here. Also, thanks to your video. I'm now a, a fan of K-pop. Aw, see? Oh my God, I I have to decide whether or not I'm gonna go to Coachella or not this year. I really do want to see Big Bang, and I feel like this will be like one of my only opportunities to um, see them live. Um, so I'm like, ah, do I really want to spend all the money to see Big? Like, cause I like Big Bang. I don't like them as much as I like Blackpink, but like, I don't know. It'll be the only. And Epic High is gonna be there, and then Hat Hitsune, um, what's her face, the anime character is gonna be there. And I think that would be kind of cool to see live. So. Um, would you consider doing your fave K-pop releases of 2019? Yeah, that's a good idea for a video. Because I have, there are like, I'll do like my top 10 K-pop releases of 2019. Because I have a, they're all on my list. I mean, number one's going to be Kill This Love. But, I mean, you already know this. So, but yeah, so I'm going to have to decide if I want to spend the money to go. Because it is a lot of money, even for someone who lives here. It's like a lot of money to go. It's like four hundred dollars for the just the pass and then you're gonna spend like money on food and shit when you're there and the food there it's like the food there is so ridiculous it's like twenty dollars for a quesadilla like it's so ridiculous so yeah meals epic high is gonna be there so i would hatsune miku yeah she's yeah the anime character is gonna be i just want to know what it's gonna be like i mean i went a long time ago when gorillas was there and it was just a giant 
screen the whole time. And it was kind of cool to watch, but it's like you're watching TV with a bunch of people. I mean, obviously the band is behind them, but I don't think Luna's going. I didn't see anything about Luna being there, but Big Bang. So, so obviously isn't, is Epic High a part of YG label too? So my, I'm th what I'm thinking is that YG must have like some kind of um, agreement with um, Golden Voice. So do you accept EBT for membership? Jeffrey's daughter, Miss Yanni. Um, no, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if EBT can go that far. Ellie Lane, so happy you're back. Thank you so much, Ellie Lane. But, um... Stan Luna. We stand Luna in this house, though. We do stand Luna. We stand Luna in this chat. I know, right, Ivana? I want to see uh, Fantastic Baby, and I want to hear Bang Bang Bang. Like, I would love to see all of it. I also want to see GD do his um, solo stuff. Do you like the new Justin Bieber song? I like the verses. I hate the chorus. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I don't, I've never really been a huge Justin Bieber fan, per se. I've never, like, I don't know. I've never been, like, a big Justin because I I don't know I think he's like whatever <laughs> like I don't even find him very attractive like he's so tiny like he's tiny so it's like you know so I don't so I don't have um I don't have like a I don't know the owners of Coachella are huge Trump supporters just saying I mean we know this but like there's a lot of like businesses around here that are Trump supporters I live here. Um, the Coachella Fest has brought so much money to the Valley. Like, so I'm not going to be like not going and supporting it. Cause literally it's like put so many businesses in, in business. And it's literally built up the city of Indio massively. Like before Coachella became such a huge thing, like Indio was like kind of like b bottom tier or whatever here in the Coachella Valley. So um, they have brought so much money out here. Ashley Ward, how do you keep yourself motivated in your weight loss? Do that struggle bus. Honestly, therapy is one of the biggest things. Um, if you can get yourself a good therapist, one that's going to try to keep you accountable and stuff like that and give you like more coping techniques. Because my biggest thing is like you have to like have better coping techniques because you can't rely on food anymore and it's so hard. So I don't know. It's a hard one. It's a hard one. It's a hard one. Epic Hylus YG a while ago. That's interesting. I didn't know that. They might be repped by the same US label though. So, because I know that a lot of them have a US label. Lana Del Rey is going. That's true. Who else is going? Oh, Matoma is going. I really like Matoma. Um, fuck. Let me just look it up. There's a bunch of people there that are like, I'm super into. It's not even the headliners. Like, I really don't care about Frank Ocean. Like, real talk, don't care about Frank Ocean. Don't care about Travis Scott. I mean, I'll see Rage Against the Machine just because I feel like I have to. Megan The Stallion, Run the Jewels would be dope. Brockhampton, Big Sean, um, Charlie XCX would be dope. Medeon would be dope. Cashmere Cat would be dope to see. Flume, Disclosure. Oh, I'd love to see Disclosure. The Baby would be dope to see. Um, Anita. Oh my God, I would love to see Anita. I fucking love Anita. Don't care about Travis Scott. Don't care about Frank Ocean. Lana Del Rey. FKA Twigs, but they'll probably be at the same time. <clears throat> Fat Boy Slim would be kind of do a Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X, I believe, is the first artist to perform at Coachella Fest and at Stagecoach in the same month. So I don't understand. I, is he going to do one song at Stagecoach? If you don't know, Stagecoach is like, um, is like one weekend here. It's the last weekend of April, and it's the country version of Coachella Fest. And it's funny because you can, like, oh my God, Slander is going to be there. I would love to see Slander. I would love to see Slander. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not to decide if I want to go. It's just so expensive. It's just so much money. That's like the biggest thing. Doja Cat, is she gonna be there? That'd be kind of dope. I honest to God thought that, um, Michael B, do you watch No Life? Probably no. 
I do not. Um, cheerful nihilist, officially a petty cadet. Love you all. Petty in the house. Poppy Bell, I've binge watched all your videos over the holidays. Thank you for being so fabulous. Glad you're back. I'm glad to be back. Um, <laughs> I also live in Coachella Valley, pretty close to the River Theater. I don't set foot in Desert Hot Springs. <laughs> no one does. The people, the only people that set foot in Desert Hot Springs are the people that live in Desert Hot Springs. I literally have no <laughs> desire to go to Desert Hot Springs, as sad as that is. Um, is Rebecca Black going to be there? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Callie, thank you so much. Hearts. Big old hearts. Oh my god, Carly Rae Jepsen's going to be here. That's right, that'd be cool to see Carly. She's a gay icon. I don't know if she's gay, but I know that the gays love her. Lily Allen, good to see you again, Michael. Watching you has made me take better care of my physical and mental health. Thank you for your videos. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I know it's a struggle, dude. It's a struggle. I had a couple moments during the holidays where I was just like super down and out for some reason. And then the next day I'd be like, okay again. <laughs> I was going to say like happy again, but do you like bts i do like bts i don't really care for a lot of their newer music like their my, my favorite bts song is dope like that was the era of bts that i really jo like enjoyed bts um jimin is the one of the hottest k-pop idols ever <laughs> so um which is funny because he seems like so shy but i just find him so attractive or something about his mouth i don't know i'm into his mouth for some reason is that weird to say that out loud um i'm not really a big fan of their newest stuff i was honestly really surprised to see they weren't going to be the headline i honestly i honest to god thought that bts would be a headliner like not frank ocean because last year it was Ari ariana grande she was the headlining pop act so to go from like ariana grande to frank ocean is like really like i don't know i want to know how frank ocean got that gig and i'm not trying to hate on frank ocean or whatever but like i don't know a frank ocean song so ali marie so happy i was able to catch her live how was your new year new year was really good i just hung out with friends and we barbecued we made um we made carne asada and chicken and beans and rice and made burritos and stuff and it was pretty good I love me some like carne asada. I'm a big carne asada fan. Any carne asada, I would just love it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying Frank Ocean is bad. I'm just like, I just find it very odd that like he's the headliner. Like, it's just weird, <laughs> you know? Like, to, I, and I'm just saying to go from Ariana Grande, the one of the, she's the, isn't she not the biggest pop selling artist like it, this? decade or probably in general in life or whatever now so it's just weird to see like to go from that to frank ocean and also travis scott is to go from like childish gambino to travis scott like i don't know it's just weird to me it's just super weird I kind of get Rage Against the Machine because they always have one group that's like kind of like a comeback like rock group or whatever Nicole Marie, I had the sleeve done last year and I recently watched her weight loss surgery vids and I have a lot of the same symptoms, especially acid with, yeah, dude. Um, I still have issues with that, but ever since I had the revision, it's been a lot better, but I still do have a lot, a lot dude. They, they don't talk about that stuff when you get those surgeries. I don't know why. I mean, it's a, like, literally it felt like it was, my insides were burning. Like, I remember when he went the, in there and he like fixed it and he was like, dude, like, i surprised you didn't have an ulceration or whatever, or like a perforation. It was so bad. <laughs> Nick Akato is such a train wreck. It's good seeing him. I mean, he got what he, he got his comeuppance. I don't feel bad for him at all. A lot of people, it was, I honestly, it was kind of more interesting to see like the audience go back and forth on like, like, oh my God, we're going to take Stephanie's side. And then, oh my God, we're going to take Nick's, like, I've never liked Nick. I don't like Nick. 
So like I felt at first I was like when she first came out with her video, I was like, should I make a video talking about this? I was like, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and see what he has to say. I'm going to give him I'm going to hear him out. And then she came out with her video like right there and after he did. And I was like, thank you. Thank you so much, Stephanie, for putting this guy in his place. There was like a part of his video where like she was taught like because she showed that the cam of her like freaking out on the couch, like laying there and like her hu her husband or her fiance was like trying to like um, comfort her and stuff like that. And he was like, why would you show you on your couch with some stranger hovering over you trying to console you or whatever? And I'm like. That wasn't a stranger. That was her fucking fiance, you idiot. Like, that just shows, like, him, like, trying to come up with shit just to make, like, him make her look bad or whatever. And it's like, dude, you're just fucking ridiculous. Like, I can't. I've never liked him. I don't fucks with any people like him. Like him or Trisha or any of the like, dude. The Danielle Cone. Like, they're all a part of that group of people that are, they just say and do shit for the sake of saying and doing shit. And I don't like that. And I'm, you know, like, I'm all for, like, being a little controversial every now and then, but like, you don't know what those people like, how they are or what they're doing, you know, like they just say whatever the fuck they want or they do and say whatever is gonna get them the view. And it's like, I don't know if I'm, I rock with people. I actually, I know I don't rock with people like that. I don't fuck with Trisha Paytas at all. And I don't fuck with the people that fuck with her even after knowing all of the nasty trifling ass shit she's done. Like that, like, I don't know. I know a lot of people like Shane Dawson or whatever, but dude, I don't understand how you could like these people. I don't get it. I don't get how you would like, you were going to dedicate a whole shade to this woman. Like the fuck? Like she just, she's done blackface. She's like pretended to be transgender. Like it's just all over the fucking board with her. And she does so many things that like just fucking hurt so many marginalized communities and it's like i don't understand how you can be like so soft and delicate and loving of like everyone but then like rep trisha paytas super fucking hard <laughs> like i don't that makes no sense to me and i don't even want to get on the ryland shit like i'm over, honest to god overhearing about that motherfucker and like how he needs to have a new g-wagon all the time and he needs to have the the gucci slides and then come on here and like talk about like how poor you are <laughs> it's just like dude over it so over it like i don't know how he's coined himself or he's like i don't well i know how he does it he comes on here and he's like i'll do a shane dawson impersonation are you ready <laughs> he'll call he'll, shane dawson did blackface too um he'll be like hey guys so i know that like i didn't get we didn't get the money out for you and it was just really hard and we're trying our hardest to come out there it's like why are you whispering you're like 40 years old like talk talk like a normal being like i uh it's so annoying like he'll he always does that whenever like he's like in some kind of hot water or whatever he always comes on here and he does this like weird voice and it's like, why are you talking like that? Like, it's so, like, if Laura Lee is going to get dragged for her video, then I don't know why Shane doesn't get dragged for that shit, too. Like, it's the same thing. It's the same, like, hey, guys, so I know that I was supposed to get the merch out, but we were too busy moving Jeffrey into his $20 million home, and we had to go and do a tour of it real quick and i had to sit there and pretend that i was surprised and all this stuff and i know that it's so hard for me being poor living in my mansion in hollywood hills but you know i'm trying really hard and i'm gonna sit here in my shirt that i haven't washed in a week with my taco bell stains on it and point it out because i know that that makes me super relatable and it's just like shut up dude like i just like I can't like it's it, I just can't I just can't I really honest to God I can't and honestly it proved that it doesn't matter what the fuck you come out with if people like you they're gonna buy it like what does Shane Dawson have I love how they try to like frame it like oh he's been practicing his makeup skills so like that's why he's coming out with the palette no nah, y'all got fucking had y'all got so had <laughs> I just I it's just y'all buy anything he could fucking like start selling sliced deli meat and be like oh i worked in a deli for an hour so now i know how deli meat works so i'm gonna start selling deli meat too like this is so stupid i don't believe it for a second dude <laughs> i'm 
sorry i had to like go on that tangent because i've been feeling a type of way about that i call him and like those group of people the coalition of cringe because like literally like do you can you imagine how fucking like untouched or un in, not in reality you have to be to know that there are literally like thousands of people that you have promised product to and they haven't gotten it yet but you're busy moving into your giant mansion after you just sold a million fucking eye palettes and stuff like i don't know dude i don't like flex culture really in general and i understand being excited about stuff or whatever but it's like dude i don't know it doesn't take a lot to manipulate a bunch of 13 year old girls into like buying your shit and it's just like I don't know. I don't know why Copa ain't coming. Like, I don't understand why the FTC ain't strike that shit down. Because that whole docu-series was just one giant infomercial for the conspiracy palette. Like, it's just like... I don't know. And I, I also love that part, too, where, like, they're sitting in Jeffrey's kitchen. I don't, I'm just gonna go on. I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, so I'm just gonna go off. I love that part where they're, like, sitting in Jeffrey's kitchen, and they have the sample pal the samples of, like, the eyeshadows or whatever... And they're deciding like what ones are going to use and so they decide on like a good like whatever i don't know how many number of fucking eyeshadows are in that palette like 16 i don't know 20. and um <laughs> and shane is like or jeffrey standing sitting there and he like starts getting the um the palettes or, or the the eyeshadows off eyeshadows out and he's like putting them in order he's like mm -hmm, yes here here um, mm -hmm, we're gonna do this here we're gonna and like shane was like in awe like like he was like cracking fort knox or something like he was like discovering how to cure aids like right there in front of him and they're like yeah uh -huh, oh my god and they're like they're sitting there like astounded that like this man can just fucking like put a bunch of colors together like and i'm just like Really? Are we going to really sit here and pretend that he's, like, creating art and he's creating a masterpiece by, like, putting a bunch of colors together in a random-ass order? I mean, at least Tati's made fucking sense. Like, I saw her palette and it was, like, the same colors and then it was, like, the shimmers, the mattes, the whatever, the whatever. Like, that makes sense to me. But, like, let's not sit here and pretend that, like, y'all, he could have just grabbed the bag with his eyes closed and picked a color and put it on the palette and it would have been the same fucking thing. It would have been the same thing. Like, it's just, like, but they literally sat there and act like he was, like, curing cancer right in front of them live. Like, and it's just, like, dude. And also, it kind of proved to me that, like, it really doesn't fucking matter. You don't have to have any kind of talent when it comes to fucking making art or making those palettes or whatever because all jeffrey did they literally gave they literally went to lowe's and got him the paint thing that you know the paint thing you get where you're like you bring it home and you pulled it up to the wall to see like what color you want to paint your walls or whatever they literally just gave him that and was like i like that one and that's all he did like and that's anyone could do that a fucking rat could do that a literal rat could do that and it's just like Here's a thought. Why don't we have a fucking rat come and pick the next colors for the next palette? Because it would be the same fucking thing at this point. Like, it's a, that, 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 the color, it, it, it takes no talent. It takes zero talent. Their talent is getting people to convince you to convince that, that getting people convinced to buy their shit. That's their talent. That's what it is. That's all that that is. So, yeah, that was my feel about that. <laughs> It's, yeah, I don't know. It's like, it's like really, it's like iPhones <laughs> or something. I don't know. It's just, y'all, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Or like the part where like they were, they were, oh, they were opening or whatever. They were, um, I know this was so long ago, but I have like so many feelings about this apparently. The part where they were, it was launch day and they were having trouble, trouble, trouble. <laughs> Tubble is that like my new nickname Tubble um they're having trouble with like the back end of like the f whatever site fashion Nova, whatever fucking cash whatever thing that they were selling it from I don't fucking know the name because I don't care um and they were like they're like oh well if we want to get people if we want to reset the like the the checkout line or whatever like so that people can actually start selling things and like um we'd have to knock everyone that's in line off right now and then it would be more smoothie and then and then shane like freaks the fuck out and he's like no we are not gonna be kicking people out of line there are people with cancer that are in line and i'm like excuse you like that is so ridiculous like he wasn't like out here trying to like like it was you i was like you just made that so personal like just being like he wasn't trying to say that he was trying to like get children with cancer kicked off the site like he was just talking about how 
in order to fix this problem, this might be a possible fix. And like Shane like turned into like this personal like, how, how dare you? How dare you even suggest that we kick a kid with cancer out of line? Like, it's like, dude, whoa. Like that was just like so much. Like I was just like, okay, dog. Like we're gonna get that dumb right now. I'd have been like, dude, honestly to God, if I were in that room and like I saw Jeffrey and Shane having that temper tantrum and they came at me and were like, no, we're going to fucking do this now. But I don't got up and walked the fuck out. I'm like, you know what? You fucking do it. I don't even care. I don't, I'm never going to use you as a referral in the fucking future. Fuck you. You don't get to sit here and throw a temper tantrum. You aren't doing anything. You are literally doing the least amount of work in that room. The least amount. You're sitting there whining. That's all you were doing. You weren't helping with the servers. You weren't coordinating anything. You literally sat there and just bitched people out because shit wasn't working right. That's all you did. Like, and it's just like, I just, uh, you know, it like bothered, it's, it reminds me of when like boomers, <laughs> of when like you get like a new, like, or like when new technology comes out and like some older generation people like get all, like all and they're like well why can't you do this or why can't you do that or like can we just make this happen I'm like it doesn't just appear out of thin air like someone has to know how to do it someone has to know how to code it like it's just like i don't know like it's just that was my thoughts on that like it was just i was like you you don't know how hard this is because you don't do anything it's, of course, it's easy to sit there and be like, no, put it online right now. Why is it this online right now? Da -da 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 -da. There's way more to it than just hitting a fucking button. And it's like to sit there and like freak the fuck out about it. It's just like, come on, dude, like have some for fucking perspective. Like these people are trying and these people in this room are getting the smallest piece of the pie while you guys are getting the biggest piece of the pie. So at least like have some like a little bit of decorum and not like sit there and like huff and puff and like slam on the window and walk outside and you're fucking like it's just it's too much and he's like outside on the curb like having a fucking meltdown about it's like dude it's fucking makeup it's fucking makeup we're not like trying to get water to australia to put out fires it's makeup <laughs> like uh <laughs> so that was my shane dawson rant <laughs> it's funny it's this morning I was like getting annoyed because I got like a bunch of DMs of people being like, when is this happening? Da -da -da -da. And I'm like, I literally said it in the community post. And I was like, I was like talking to Zach and I was like, I can't be bothered with people who aren't going to read anymore. That's why my tweet was like, the lack of reading comprehension skills that I am seeing is astounding. Cause like, I'm like, it says it there. It says it right there. What's gonna happen? Please read it before you do. Cause it's like, uh, cause then it gets hard. And then I can't reply to like all the other people who have DMS that are like, I actually want to read that are like important or like they're, you know, they're, they're explaining to me, like, this is what's going on in their life. And they, you know, and it's like, I want to read those. Those are the ones I want to read. Not the people that are too lazy to read. Like, uh, this is so annoying. I love you guys. I love all of you, but it's like th that shit gets like super infuriating to me. <clears throat> Are you reacting to anything today? Yeah, I'm going to react to the New Year's resolution video. What is it? 2020 resolution. So hopefully I don't get my channel taken down when I do this. I'm going to try. Maybe I just I'll get all of that hate out now. <laughs> so that way, when I watch this, I won't like freak the fuck out about it. <clears throat> Let me read some of these super chats first. Um... Lazy day, Michael, happy new year. My YouTube bestie, please don't get too politically correct. Oh, all right, thank you. I, that, if that, was that the one that you wanted me to see? Ew, isn't this from fucking, this reminds me of TikTok. <clears throat> Sorry, I keep clearing my throat, but like when I yell and get ridiculous like that, like. <clears throat> Poppy Bell. I, oh, I read that one already. Lily Allen. Good to see you again, Michael. Watching you has made me take better. I read that one already. I read that one already. Katie. Love you, Michael. So glad to see you streaming tonight. Oh, thank you, Katie. N Nicolette Marie. I had the sleeve done last year and recently watched your Wayla's videos. And I, had, I already heard that one. <laughs> Lush Papaya. Love you. Love from Copenhagen. Petty King. Oh, my God. All the way from Copenhagen. I want to go to Amsterdam so bad. So bad. I need to go. Orange Blorange. I hope you had a great new year. Oh, thank you, Queen. I hope you had one too. 
Um, Gabrielle Donato. Oh, I love that name, Donato. Ugh. I love Italian names. I just love them. I don't know what it is. Like, that's part of why I love Real Housewives of New Jersey. I love hearing all their, like, Italian names. Like, I love Melissa Gorga. I love the name Gorga. I don't know what it is. I just love saying her name, Melissa Gorga. I love how she says it too. Melissa Gorga. Gorga. Teresa Gorga. I love, I just love her. I love Melissa. Um, go off king. Oh, thank you. Cancer warrior. Oh, cancer warrior. Hey girl. Hey, I love you. I love your videos. Happy new year, Michael. I love that you're back. YouTube is boring without you on here for real, for real. Um, Kurs Kurskia, Kurskia. Go off queen. I just can't, I just can't with him. I agree. I can't with him either. Red, Redinchi, Redinchini, Redinchini, Redinchini. Um, so happy to finally catch you live. Love the tea. Silvana, oh girl, I love your I love your tweets, girl. Hi, Michael. I've almost missed your live stream. I was busy making a new mukbang ALR loop. Greetings. I love them. I love seeing those all the time. Monica Punk Archive. Preach, Petty King. Thank y'all. All right, so I guess we'll do this react now that I've like went nuts for a while. I mean, there's no way that this I'm gonna get this video is gonna get taken down because I just like went so in <laughs> i just like i can't dude i just can't and i'm over it also not talk about the people that were featured in that fucking video and how that hasn't been addressed yet god dude i can't i can't i'm not gonna say her fucking name because i don't want anyone to go over there i've learned my fucking lesson but I am still upset about that to this day. Like I it just, I can't, I just find it hard to believe that he has no, he's not aware. I just find it hard to believe, sorry. All right, are you guys ready for this? It's been a while since I've done a react. So this, oh, there's like so much dust on the screen right here. The hard eye rolls are what I, I need to get an eye roll emote made. Cause I, I think the ones I have left are, sh I said sh, <laughs> and then there's one more, there's two more. I think one says big yikes. I think there's a big yikes one. I don't know. I could literally go and check right now if I was not being lazy. Oh, Michael B. Petty, who the salt shaker and the sh I said sh are the three that I still have to upload. But I, I can't do that until I have like gotten a certain amount of number of, um, of whatchamacallit, members or whatever. I don't know how many there needs to be, but yeah. So, okay. Eyeshadow, eyeshadow's popping. We got the popping eyeshadow. She's packing it on real tight. She could go a little bit up more on her orbital bow. I'm just kidding. I don't know shit about makeup. I'm just fucking with you. I don't know anything. <laughs> All right, let's do, oh, I need to bring the screen up so I can see what the fuck's happening. Oh, this is probably gonna be like so loud. All right. Should I make it full screen? Hey guys. Hey guys. Happy, I was about to say happy Christmas Eve. That's over. Do you guys remember when she like tried to come on like at Zach? Who was it that said that? Was it Amber or Chantel that like came for Zach for being like, you copied my intro or whatever. I think it was Amber when she was doing the reactor or whatever. She's like, he can't come up with his own intro. He has to copy my intro. It's like, you literally say two words in a high pitched voice. Like you're not the first person with happy new year's eve today is the 31st the i just gas wanted station. to say hello i have not been vlogging or anything like that as you guys know but i really want to just say hello and thank you guys for such a crazy year you know you guys keep me on my toes i have so many supporters i have so many people who just enjoy watching my videos and those are the people that i need to focus on more because i know i also have a lot of haters hello Hey girl, hey. 
but I still am very grateful for each and every single one of you. You guys are the reason why I'm still making YouTube videos and I- Girl, let's not pretend that those AdSense checks are- Those are the reasons you make these videos, girl. Let's not pretend- You don't give no fucks. You don't give no fucks about your audience. That's why you still haven't paid that guy for that Instagram giveaway that you tried to do and like- I don't think I've ever really seen Amberlynn really give back to her audience in any kind of way or capacity. Like, she just kind of just does her own thing. I just really appreciate you guys, and I feel like I don't say it enough. So, I'm sorry you I don't. didn't get a start to the vlog <laughs> sooner. I have spent majority of the day doing really nothing. I also spent a chunk of it getting ready. I had no idea how I wanted to do my makeup today. I knew this was the dress I wanted to wear today because it reminds me of, like, New Year's. I don't know. But um, I, I would pay good money to see Amberlynn try to attempt a smoky eye. <laughs> I'd pay really good money for that. He's putting air in the tire. We're actually about to go out for dinner with Eric and Ricky. Of course, we're going out to dinner. We're going to start the year off right with going out to dinner. Yeah. And then <laughs> after that, Dana and Destiny are coming over and we're just going to like play games and we might do some drinking. I haven't drank in over a year. I think it's been because I feel dude I miss the drunk streams though those were like prime CXNT Eve like up re-uploads like I used to live uh for those drunk streams where she had after she had just broken up with Destiny and she was like hey and with her like her cheap old wine or whatever and stuff and like on her like wine coolers and all that stuff and she was like acting like like I think she was t I think she was buzzed but I don't think she was drunk like and she would like act like she was so like wasted and just I don't know it reminds me of like when like 14 year olds like steal liquor from like their parents like were refrigerator in the garage and like they act like all fucking faded and stupid off of like one smear off ice like it's very it was very that i miss those i miss i miss those streams more than like when she's like catty and doing her instagram lives like someone my size should not be drinking but i might just drink maybe one smear off i don't know um no <laughs> one smear off nothing Ugh. too crazy but i hope you guys do you think someone iced her <laughs> are having a good day today hey guys so it is the next day january 1st 2020 i love the sound of 2020 just flows off your tongue very nicely weird okay so god that lighting though she's like washed out it's so like this video is just gonna be me talking um uh, i'm gonna be talking about some goals i have this year some resolutions, just getting it all out there. So first I want to say not only is it a new year, it's a new decade. And I think about the last decade and it was very up and down. I found love. I lost love. I had deaths in the family, lost a ton of weight, gained a ton of, ton of weight, lived in quite a few. When did she lose a ton of weight? Is she talking about the 89 pounds? Different states. It's just been a lot. Um, I just, if I was to even sit down and try to even come up with the list of things that happened in the last 10 years, I couldn't because it's just so many ups and downs. The camera's having trouble keeping focus on her because she's literally the same color as the wall. That It's like, I'm scared for what this next decade is going to bring me because obviously every decade, every year is going to give you, give people, you know, highs and lows. And I get very scared for the lows. So I have a little notebook of <laughs> a things I want to talk about because- Do you think she used one whole notebook for, um, for her new year resolution? Oh, Callie, thank you so much for joining, girl. Hey, Gert. Because I, I, for, I literally forget what I want to say, like, majority of the time. So, I know I asked you guys in the community post a couple days ago what you guys want from me January 1st. What type of video you want from me? It's January 1st, and I didn't even upload a video. Today has been kind of like a roller coaster. Some personal things happened today that I don't really want to talk about. And I hate when she alludes to things and then like doesn't want to, then don't talk about them. Like no one would know that you had personal things going on if you didn't mention them. Give me no time to film because I was going to film when I woke up, upload it afterwards and it just did not turn out. But I will say last night was a good time. I could have filmed it last night, but you guys, I had so much fun. I actually did drink and 
you know, it's okay. I like, I, I really do believe that someone my size should not be drinking, but you know, I think someone with an active UTI shouldn't be drinking like real talk. I don't think, I mean, if you want to drink some alcohol, like go for it. Like who really cares? But like you have like a chronic long lasting UTI. Like I would think that like drinking alcohol would not be good for that, but whatever. Oh, I made it. I made it to 2020. I want to just let loose a little bit and I did and we all had so much fun. I woke up super swollen though from the alcohol because I barely drink any water to like even kilter it and my brain- Kilter it? Isn't alcohol a diuretic? Am I like losing my goddamn mind right now? Usually you pee more and stuff when you're drinking alcohol. But okay. <laughs> what doesn't make Amberlynn swollen at this point? I mean, she, I, is she gonna blame gravity next or air, oxygen? Brain was like a little fuzzy when I woke up, but you know, that's fine. Um, I'm just trying to drink a lot more water today to kind of flush it all out. Anyways, I kind of went off on something else. You guys, majority of the people said they wanted a weigh in video. Of course they, wanted they a did. Weight loss update. Of course I will they be do. That to you guys when I'm ready. I know a lot of people think that I'm trying to lose weight, that you guys didn't know I gained or anything like that. That's definitely not the case. I'm just really trying to get to a point where I can step on the scale and be like, see you guys, I am serious about this. Isn't that exactly what you just explained? Isn't that exactly what you just explained right now? Like, literally, you just said. I don't want to, you, oh, wait, <laughs> I like, I like spaced out real quick. Literally, she just said that she think she, she thinks that we're, all, people are on here wanting her to win or she's waiting to, she's procrastinating or putting off weighing in because we think that she weighs more than she actually does. And then she just admitted that she's like waiting to lose more weight to show that she's serious about losing weight. Like that's what, that's literally what just happened. Like you just, yes, you agreed with everyone. <laughs> like that's what you just did. It's the same thing, dog. Like I'm so confused. And I want to say the month of December was kind of like a rocky one because I lost a pretty good amount of weight in November. And then when December came along, I stayed the same. I definitely wasn't ready to step on the scale for you guys then. But so yeah, you're waiting to like lose weight so you can come in here and be like, see, told you like, Okay, girl. I'm still losing weight. Like, I'm not, like, in my highest weight at all. And I can't wait to share that with you guys. So I'm just going to get into resolution. Right, so you're waiting to lose weight to see, to, like, prove people wrong. I think that's what you're doing. Solutions, because I have a few. So the first one is think more about college. I'm sure a lot of you know I used to major in criminal justice and I didn't get to finish. I went for about a year and a half and I ended up having to move across the country while I was in college. Once I moved, I realized that criminal justice was no longer for me, so I never- Also, you realized that you went to a scam school, so it wasn't even a real accredited school. <laughs> you were going to like ITT Tech or whatever. And then also you moved because the people you were living with are tired of you mooching off of them. <laughs> so they kicked your ass out. Like, uh, okay, girl, you didn't realize that criminal justice wasn't for you. People were just tired of your ass. So you had to leave and you had to go to another family. I actually went back to college. I firmly believe that college is not for everyone. You don't need college to be successful in life. If you want to go to college, that's great. Do I mean, you don't need to go to college to be successful in life, but it it gives you more opportunity. Like not everyone is going to like have a YouTube channel and weigh 600 pounds and make 20,000 a month. Like that's not, everyone's not going to get that. So like in many ways, college is kind of like a, just a way of what's going on over there. The phone. Okay. College is just a way to get you make it's just to give you more opportunity and to help you realize things that you want to do or not want to do. do what you think is right for you. I always told myself, that I would never go back to college, but there are things that I am very interested in and that I have always been interested in. So this honestly makes me want to step out of my comfort zone and go back to college. So this is something that I want to look more into. I know exactly what I want to major in. It's something I've always loved and I just want to know more about it. So 
that's something I really want to dive into. She's not going to say what she wants to like take classes for. She's not going to say what major. I bet it's writing. I guarantee you it's English. She probably wants to be a creative. I can't, dude. It's going to be English. I know it. Is she going to go to University of Phoenix? Because there's no way she's going to be able to go to school. Like, there's no way. Like, going to a college, a campus, like, it's, you have to walk so much. And she can't, she can't walk that much. Nor do I think she'd fit in the lecture halls or whatever. I don't know. Major in nutrition. I can't. So that is right. on my, like, 2020 bucket list. So I want to journal daily. I want to read more. I want to write more, whether it be the story I'm working on, poems, just about my feelings. I really, really really want to write more poems. I love poetry, huge passion of mine. And I love just like freestyle poetry where you just get your feelings out. And then like what I do is I do it in a little note section on my iPhone. And then I forget that I did it and I like find it a month later and I'm like, dang, that's good. It's interesting how she has all these bajillion notebooks where she uses the app on her phone <laughs> to, do, to write her poetry and stuff down. I'm so confused. All right, whatever. I mean, my New Year's my New Year's resolution is writing more, <laughs> journaling more. God damn, that was that's a really big thing to achieve and tackle. Boo boo. So yeah, I really really love writing. So this one's kind of silly, maybe not, but I just want to pick up after myself more. I have a bad habit. What are these resolutions? Holy shit. <laughs> What? Picking I my New Year's resolution to pick up after my You should be doing that regardless. You're a almost 30 year old adult. You should be cleaning up after yourself. The fuck, dude? I can't, dude. Is this what this is? Is this what this entire video is? Is some her doing some dumb shit? Is this what it's gonna be? Of like perfect example. Here's a water bottle. I'll finish Why do you have water bottles? Why? You have a water thing, a water cooler in your house. Drinking it. That's not the same water bottle that you show. All I'll just set it on the table and without even thinking, it'll be there for like a full day. I'll wake up the next day and be like, oh, I left your water bottle on the table. You know, it's just simple things like that. I feel like add up. So I want to try to not do that anymore and just pick up after myself a little bit more. I feel like it's very important that I learned to say no. I let people walk all over me. When people ask me for something, doesn't matter really what it is, I always feel obligated to say yes. Not always a bad thing. Like I'm a- <laughs> Girl, okay. You like, there's three people in your life, dog. Like, what are you talking about? Very giving person. When? When? I mean, if you were such a giving person, like wouldn't you have given Becky and her family the money instead of trying to get us to come on here and donate to a go scam me like but it becomes a bad thing when i don't know how to say no where i just give 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 i just feel like there needs to be some sort of balance because i'm almost losing myself in the process of just consistently always being a yes man i just feel like i need to calm down i need to about? learn <laughs> when to say no versus when to say yes so <laughs> i know I, I say this okay. all the time that i want to dye my hair cut my hair Whatever it may be, but I promise you, the year 2020, I will be cutting my hair and I will be dyeing it. Who cares? Hands down. Real talk? Who cares? I mean, what is... My New Year's resolution is to cut my hair. Like, what? <laughs> I'm so confused. Like, who cares? Like, you should... You should okay these New Year's resolutions are so dumb. Other than the going back to school one, I'm kind of just like... Really? Like, these are the best you could come up with? This is it? Cutting your hair? All right. It is going to happen because I just wear my hair like this all the time. I'll wash it, put it up. I won't brush it for like a few days. I don't take care of my hair like I used to. And I almost don't know if I like my hair anymore, which is really sad because I used to love having long hair. My hair is like past my butt, super long. Um, it's fried. 
I don't like them. these new year resolutions are so inconsequential like it's ridiculous to me like of the things of importance in her life of things and promises she should be making to herself cutting your hair is like so low like it's at the bottom of the list here's a new year's resolution you should have gone through with getting health insurance um seeing a regular a doctor more regularly getting to a nutritionist and sticking to a meal eating plan finding a personal trainer to come to my home and work me out every other day. Like those would have been things that would have made sense to me, but like journaling every day, writing in my agenda, uh, picking up after myself, getting my hair cut, like who cares? <laughs> that I've bleached the ends, like this was a while ago. I'm very sad that I've reached a point where I just feel like cutting a lot of it off is probably the way to go. She's gonna be one of those girls that's gonna cut like four inches off her hair and like freak the fuck out about it. I can already tell. At this point, when that happens, gonna vlog it. When it happens, I will cry because I've had long hair for so long. Who it's cares? It's almost like a comfort. And it's just gonna be like a really she's gonna she's big gonna be one of those people that gets happen. four inches cut off and her head. Happen, and she's gonna I freak out about it. it I already know. A time where I feel like I deserve it because it will be a big change and I want to be able to enjoy it and not just have it be like a chore, like, oh my God, I gotta cut my hair. I want it to be more so like, I did this. I want to reward myself with brand new hair. So regarding my weight, as you guys know, my highest weight is 572.4. I have a goal weight that I want to be by the end of this year. I want to lose in total, which is part of what I've already lost. I want to be down in total 127.4 pounds, which will put me at 445. So I've already lost some of that 127.4, which I can't wait to, you know, share that with you guys, obviously. So yeah, I really want to reach. Yeah, because you, you have to wait to share it with us because you actually have to lose the weight that you're like, I can't. She's like gloating about things that aren't, that aren't real almost. And like, okay, so she wants to get down to four. You could lose way more than that in a year. Like at that size, she should be able to lose 200 pounds in a year. She should be able to lose like 30 pounds in a month in a month if she really tried 445 she could lose like 20 pounds in a week <laughs> in this year um i am nervous because whenever i put out something like that i tend to not succeed but nope. instead of this year putting out my goals and then like just hoping they just happen by like some magical fairy just like drops down and sprinkles some like dust on me I actually need to work on succeeding in these goals and I'm the only one that can do it. You've literally said this for like five years on this channel though. Like literally, you've literally come on here and made this video. I don't know how many times, and I'm not talking about like New Year's resolution. You say the same stuff all the time. Like I need to lose weight. I'm gonna actually work this time. I'm not just gonna be all talk. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do, and you never do it. Like that's why people tell you not to come on here and say anything because like, you just set yourself up for failure. And it's like, I don't think coming on here, I think for some people, I think for some people you can come on here if you have a channel, you could say, I wanna do something like this. And then at, at times like your audience will kind of help you hold you accountable because you don't wanna let your audience down. But Amberlynn doesn't care. Amberlynn doesn't care if she lets down her audience. So it's like, I don't see the point in any of this. Like, and if you were gonna make this video for yourself, then there's really no point in you uploading it onto YouTube. like. Because you could have, like, kept it on your computer and, like, look back on it every... You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. It's, it's more the same And I want to share that journey with you guys. I want to walk a million steps this year. I know when I say that out loud, I'm like, is that even possible? I'm, like, so confused. But when you guys divide it by 365, it's less than, like, 3,000 steps a day. Which I know some days I'll probably do less than 3,000. I know some days I'll do more. I feel like I could possibly even go over a million. Actually, I feel like I know I can. But I just thought it was a cute little goal. A million is such like a big, broad number. And it'll help well, me. Well, you literally just said how it's not a big number. <laughs> like you literally just sat on here and said that it's actually not that many steps in a year. <laughs> you said that it's less than 3,000 steps a day. 
like most people get like upwards to 5,000 steps a day. So I am a little confused. Obviously, it's a very small number. You just like the way it sounds. You like the way it sounds out loud, and you thought it would be like a like a good clickbaity, cute little catchphrase or whatever to say on here. I'm gonna walk a million steps a day, like or a day, a day, a million steps a year. Like it's you just literally told us that it's not that big of a number. It's not that. It's not. It's. <laughs> whatever okay move more and it'll just be exciting to see that number like rack up every day so obviously i'm not wearing my apple watch today january 1st which today was would have been day one but i forgot to charge it because as you guys know already off to a great start I'm, I'm glad you really thought this one through and prepared yourself like I guess I guess the magic fairy would have been the one to put the phone on the charger and strap it to your wrist. I guess that was the 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 fairy's job. No, I haven't really been wearing it, but it's on the charger now, so I'm definitely gonna wear it tomorrow. And I can't wait to take my step one of the million. That sounds crazy, I know, but I just think it'll be fun to try. So I want to get a therapist. She said try. As you guys know, Did you hear I used that? to try. see someone. Um, they were actually just a counselor. I want to take, you know, a step up and I want to see a therapist really bad because I feel like there are a lot of like hidden demons and a lot of things that I need to just talk to someone about. Not someone so hidden. Someone who will not be biased. Someone that will tell me how it is. I just need to sit down and I just need to cry. Like even just talking about it right now, I'm like getting emotional because I really do need to see someone. I feel like it'll help me on my day to day life i feel like it'll help me with relationships in my life i feel like it'll help me with you know i thought that's what that one person she was saying she claimed she claimed that she would see her her psychiatrist or whatever and they would do therapy with her and like but i guess that's not the case so were we right the whole time by saying that you should have probably been seeing a therapist at the same time you're seeing your psychiatrist yeah of course my weight loss and just so many different things so this kind of goes in with like my weight loss which i should have mentioned this already but I want to write down everything I eat. I know there's going to be days where I accidentally forget. She's already talking about failing. Like, I can't, dude. She's already talking about how she's going to, she's allowing herself to not follow through with these. So what's the point of this? Like, what's the point? If like, if there's so many like, like little, uh, Oh my God, what loopholes and stuff that you're going to be, you can do like, it's, what's the point? You're not holding yourself accountable and you, you sure as fuck don't care what your audience thinks. So what's the point? Or, you know, I just skip, I'm feeling too lazy to write it down, but majority of the time I want to write it down because what I've noticed is that sometimes I'll forget like what I eat throughout the day. And by writing it down, I could go back and be like, Oh, I already ate quite a bit today. Versus if I didn't do that. I hate, I, I hate, loathe, weight loss guru Lynn. Like, I can't. Like, she acts like it's like this big epiphany. Like, you've said this before. You've said, I literally, I could probably find 20 different videos of you sitting on here talking about how you're going to start documenting all your food and how you're going to look back on it and, and it'll keep you more accountable of the things you eat every day. You've done this before. You've done this so many times. I wouldn't remember how much I ate earlier and then I'll overeat. And then she explains it to us like we're idiots. It's just a lot easier for me. So being mindful of what I'm eating and writing it down actually helps a lot. I also want to create. Yeah, when you actually do it, but you're also sitting on here talking about how you may not do it some days and you're going to forget this. Do you, like a weight loss Instagram and make it public. So I used. Why? Why? That sounds like the dumbest fucking thing I have ever heard. Why? Why do you need to make a whole weight loss Instagram? What? So you can like fool a bunch of new people into feeling sorry for you again? Like that's what it sounds like to me. That's what it found. That's exactly what it sounds like to me. That's <laughs> to actually have so one stupid. at curvy calories, but I no longer want to use that one. Right, because people caught on to your bullshit. That's what happened. Rarity. <laughs> Brady's on the table again. You guys saw her tail do a little jig. But I used to have a weight loss Instagram, curvy calories, but I kind of want to leave that behind because I did have quite a few people following my, following me on there, like over 10,000. And it's like, that. I think it's like two years old. And it's just like, I 
suck. I flopped on that. So I want to create a new one. And when I'm done creating it, when I have my first post up, and when I'm ready to reveal my weight, I will definitely make it public. So I'll definitely let you guys know when I do that. I want That's literally the definition of insanity is repeating the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. This is insanity. This is literal insanity. This is insanity. I don't under what's the point? I don't understand, dude. We're just uh 2020 and we're doing the same shit. Doing the same exact fucking thing. To save money, doesn't everyone? I feel like I did really good in 2019. That's not with so what? Weird to say. I feel like it's 2000. <laughs> did good <laughs> so with it what? Like 2019, so it was like so weird, but I feel like I did really good with saving in 2019. I am very proud of how much money I saved. Like, it is. So we're gonna flex about how much money we make on YouTube now. Oh boy, this should be fun. It's almost like. I feel like I'm in a different dimension. I'm very grateful for YouTube. Taxes oh, is coming up. My bank account is gonna look dry. No, I'm just kidding. Um, taxes freak me out, my God. But um, I, once taxes are over with, I feel so just like relieved. I'm like, okay, we're starting the year over. We got this. But yeah, I just want to have another year of saving a ton of money. Cause what I like to do when I get paid automatically, I save 40% for taxes, bam. Majority of the time, taxes is about 31%. I'm gonna be honest, when you do YouTube, they take about 31%, but I like to be safer than sorry, honey. Cause I am not wanting to go up in there and being like, I don't have the money. Like that's just really embarrassing. So that's already 40% of my money just saved. And then I wanna say about another, 30% I just save automatically just it's just saved I don't use it I have no reason to use it so then that leaves me with 30% for like bills and it's just ra buy random stuff it really doesn't matter but I mean it honestly depends on the month sometimes I'll barely use any money and any everything I got paid just automatically is safe I mean I want to say this I want to <laughs> I mean I think this is her way of trying to seem relatable to people being like I pay taxes just like you um I think that a part of this whole thing, this it's like, that's still a shit ton of money. Like 30% of what Amber Lynn makes is still a shit ton of money. Like she's making like 20 to $25,000 a month easy. I would not be surprised. Sorry, I took a shower like a couple hours ago and like the water's coming out of my ear and it's like bothering me. Um, I just think that this is her way of trying to sound relatable, but really, Amber, no one can relate to you in any kind of way when it comes to your money and your situation because most people don't kill themselves on camera to make 20, like, to make the amount of money you make. So it's like, most people are like, really struggling and <laughs> trying to make ends meet and they don't have the luxury of saving 40% of their check every month. Like, it just, I'm over it, whatever. Anyways, that's just like, enough talking about money i don't whatever i just want to save money so i want to know like what are you spending all this money on like so your ta your bills are cheap as fuck okay you pay your phone bill like yours are you spending like four to five what are you spending like five thousand dollars on a month like a month like what you don't have health insurance your car no i think you said you paid off your car you pay your car insurance you pay becky's health insurance or she's still on her parents I don't know. I would love to love know. myself more. I want to love myself more mentally, physically, emotionally. Okay, physically, that's... <laughs> uh, what I mean is, like, I want to take care of my hair more. You don't pay your hospital you know, bills, apparently. I want to do my nails more. This just is so like that. dumb. I just feel like I don't, like, Ugh. love myself enough to do those things, and I want to start doing those things, and I want to treat myself better. And I know you can't just wake up one day and be like, I love myself. I'm just gonna like treat myself like gold. It's just like not realistic, and you have to like truly work on that. And I feel like that's also gonna like tie in together with like the whole therapist thing. Like thoroughly, I feel like when you love oh, yourself- Oh, you're right. Food, torrid halls, Walmart, subscription boxes, new phones, other people's phone bills. I mean, I guess that is a lot of money, but God, I could not imagine spending like $6,000 a month on like just shit, like just literal shit. 
people can that's tell crazy. because you take care of yourself better and not only do you take care of yourself better but you also take care of the people around you better and you kind of radiate a happiness and a glow that other people don't have and as sad as it is i don't love myself like i should or i wouldn't look like this i wouldn't be in the health that i am now so i feel like by trying to love myself more and accept myself now will make me want to better myself does that make sense so the last one is i want to film what i want for my youtube and i want to upload it i don't want to be afraid i don't want to be how is that any different than what you've been doing i'm you literally uploaded you eating a whole rotisserie chicken like and then when obese to beast reached out to you and he was trying to help you you then came on here and uploaded you eating a whole platter of shrimp cocktail and then downing it. like you pretty much do that you like when have you ever been afraid to post something on this channel i what <laughs> i'm confused be afraid of judgment i don't want to be like oh what if people don't like this video I just really want to be me. Um, I feel like there are times That's what you where do. I see- Your entire channel is incredibly self-serving. I don't know what you're talking about. You post whatever the fuck whenever you want. So you came on here and did a go scam me with Becky and her about her mom. Like, you've never not been afraid to post something on this channel. I don't understand what you're talking about. Certain vlog styles like Alicia Marie or Pink Sparkles, when they vlog, they're good like they do so much editing very quick and like snappy like what would you call it like snappy frames like it's very just like constant on the go which i right because they go out and do things they're like living they don't live a whole entire life or existence of them in the car at walmart or home in pillow mountain love and it's like they have things to I've show to do that in the past just because i like their style of vlogging but i have to like realize I don't think that's my style at all. As much as I love it and I would love to like. Right, because you're lazy. Like you, anyone could edit like that. Anyone could do stuff like that. But like you don't ever take the time out to try and do things. Be like that. It's just like, I'm not. So I want to learn my own style of videos and I just want to film what I want. And I don't that's want to be do now. like, <laughs> oh. I'm ashamed because I'm this type of YouTuber. Y'all, are there are thousands about? and thousands and thousands of YouTubers on this platform, and we're all different. We all film different types of stuff. We all film on different, you know, things, phones, cameras. We all, some of us use tripods, some of us use lighting. Like, it doesn't even matter. Just, I want to feel like I can just do what I want, what is you right for my channel, already, and though. not try to, like, be like someone else. I feel like that's gonna be very hard because I'm that type of person, like when I watch someone's vlogging style, like even Trisha Paytas, she's the total opposite vlogging style of like- God, can we stop talking about that gremlin? Like I'm so over her. Pink sparkles. Trisha Paytas is more like, she'll sit down and talk like this. She'll just talk and talk and talk. Right, she'll babble on like a Looney Tune. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I'll watch that and be like, that's how I want my videos. And it's like, when, when I see the way certain people vlog, I'm like, I want to do that. I want to do that. Oh, let me try that way. Let me try that editing. I don't want to, I don't want to do that anymore. I just want to do what I feel like is right for me and right for my channel. Okay. I so you're just going to film on your iPhone and edit an iMovie and then call it a day. Okay. We got it. All of that to say that you're not going to try. We got it. We understand. I feel like I'm actually <laughs> rambling. So those are just like some goals, resolutions, like bucket list moments. And I also have a lot of private personal ones that I just maybe felt too embarrassed to like share. So I hope y'all had like a great New Year's Eve and a great January 1st. And yeah, so I think I'm gonna end this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Well, I mean, I'm not that surprised. Real talk. Like, did we really think that she was gonna like really address anything? No. I think that those resolutions were very like superficial and uh, like my New Year's resolution to cut my hair. Like, okay, then cut your hair, dog. Like, you know, I don't know. The New Year's resolutions that I would have came out for her would have been, you know what? I'm gonna do for myself more 
instead of having other people do for me, I'm going to get health insurance. I'm going to start taking my health seriously. I'm going to assemble a team of health and medical professionals to really help me achieve some of my goals. Um, I'm going to try with my content. I'm going to try to be more honest with what I'm going to be putting on this platform instead of just doing whatever the hell I want. Um, I don't know. There's so many other things that she could have really done. Like, do we really need to hear about how you pay your taxes? Like, who cares? Congrats. So do we all do it. That's just her little way of like flexing a little bit, I think. And it's like, even then it's like, no one can relate to that because most people aren't on here making like 20 to $25,000 a month for dumb shit on YouTube, you know? So it's just, I don't know. I feel like it was like a ramble. Uh, the other YouTubers are, I love how she wanted to like, once again, like, distinguish herself or be distinctual about like her being and how she does YouTube and how other people do it. But in the past, she's quick to be like, well, see, David's filmed in the ER, so I can film in the ER too. Like, I don't know. Now she wants to be different, I guess. I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't understand. <sighs> I don't, I mean, I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see, but I'm not going to hold my breath to see if she actually changes. <sighs> Let me read some of these super chats. Thank you guys so much to the members that have just joined Midnight Panda, Max Room. Is it Max Room? Max Mom. So... I don't know. We'll wait and see, but we'll wait and see, I guess. Skittles and Sunshine Happy New Year are going to be my best yet. Love you. Thank you so much, Skittles. Ashley Ward, I wonder what Amber's obituary would sound like. I don't I don't know. Local YouTuber who... I don't know. I don't even want to... I don't even... I don't want to know. <laughs> Lush Papaya. Did you see that Nick from the viewers voice shouted you out and his ALR react squealed when I heard... Yeah. I didn't watch it though because I knew I was going to come on here and do it. But I did see that he... Um, he shouted me out and he shouted Callie out. And he tried to shout Zach out. But he, he flubbed his name a little bit. But yeah. It's interesting seeing all the people that are going to... That are like know about Amberlynn and are doing Amber... Like... I think I saw Repsion was talking about how he was going to do a video about Amber. So I don't know. I'll be interested to see. But yeah, it's kind of cool how people are starting to like get it. Did you all see that I won that Messi award? That shit's so funny. I, when I saw that, and I was like, that's hilarious as fuck. Like, I wish it was a real award. But because I would totally put it up behind me because Messi is on brand. Um, Natasha Pekotich. Um, this is random, but what are you studying? What are your studying tips? I do a lot of flashcards. Flashcards are like my be all end all in school. I I have done flashcards for literally every class I've taken. Um, I'm trying to go paperless this year. That's why I went out and got this thing or whatever. Um, so we'll see how that works with that. I still might go and get my own flashcards again. And cause I like to do those. Cause what I do is I write out the flashcards that alone is going to help um, retain things. It's going to help you re remember things. And then what I do is I tape like five or six up in my bathroom every day. So when I'm brushing my teeth or I'm like taking a shower or stuff like that, like I can read them and I just go over them over and over and over again. Um, I'll like carry them around with me at school. I'll, I'll take them with me into like when I go out to dinner and stuff like that. And I'll just like read them every now and then. So yeah, that's my study tip, I guess, is flashcards. And um, I know some, there's a one girl in my class and she talks about how she'll rewrite her notes like three times. <laughs> and I'm like, that's a lot. Like I'm not gonna be rewriting all my notes three times, but um, I do notes and flashcards. That's like my main thing, but I don't, I don't know. I'm going to have to see. I'm probably still going to do flashcards this year, even with that. But I'm trying to go paperless this year because it's just like we waste so much fucking paper. Like, and I'm going to even like when we get handouts and stuff, I'm going to take pictures of it and then like hand the papers back if I can. Because I just like don't want to be like contributing so much waste. You know, I've been like trying to you know that's why i got like the flex fuel car and stuff like that because i'm just like trying i want to get an electric car 
I've been like thinking about saving up and getting an electric car. Um, Megan Bates, God, I miss you. I'm happy you're back and I'm here to support you always. Oh, thank you so much, Megan. That's how my friend spells her name. Um, Andy Ward, 600 pounds and trying to get under since June. June, people. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if she's 600 pounds, but it's, I don't know. Um, Ashley Ward, I love how all of her resolutions aren't taking care of herself. I mean, the only ones that were about her taking care of herself really were like getting her nails and hair did. And so I was like, that's, that's the least of your worries. Like, I don't know why you're worried about stuff like that. Like, yeah, I under, like building the ladder is like a thing. Like when you're, when you have depression and everything. And I mean, I know a part of mine is like, if I'm not feeling it or whatever, and I'm having one of those days, I literally just take a shower and get the fuck out of the house. Cause it's like, if I, I feel like if I get out of the house and that forces me to like, kind of try and persevere and everything. And that helps. I can understand that, but like getting needing to get your nails and do your makeup, like how that's going to like correlate into like taking care of yourself, like whatever. I don't know. That's like the least of her worries. Tashi D, she never updated us on the homeless shelter donation type deal situation. Um, or am I tripping? No, she didn't. Personally, I don't even think she should have been talking about it to begin with. I did see uh, a rumor or whatever of people talking about how they think that like those paper plates and stuff that they're using are the paper plates she was supposedly going to get for um, the homeless people and like how she just like went out and got it and then never used them. But whatever, we'll see. Um, GZ, please try oats instead of Nexium. It helped me. Maybe it works for you too. I do eat oats. I eat oats like three times a week. I do overnight oats. I can't do them every day because I get sick of it. So, but I do do overnight oats a lot. Thank you so much for the donation. Emma Pinson, I just Googled it and at 5,000 steps a day, two and a half miles, it would take you 200 days to reach a million steps. Where is her logic? I don't know. I just feel like she just wanted to put the million number out there to make it sound impressive. But like she then went on to explain how like literally to get a million steps in a year, you ha you, you can still like take 3,000 or less steps a day to make that goal. And it's like, that's not that much real talk like i think i've done like five thousand steps at the street fair in, in like an hour like so i don't know but it, i just think it was her way of trying to make it sound impressive when it really isn't um nw country girl 17 oh my god i just know what could actually help her i do virtual races it tracks at your pace and sends you medals when you complete a race it incorporates her three favorite things tiny goals getting stuff in the mail and useless crap i know i used to have a fitbit now i have a galaxy watch oh I don't have it on. <laughs> I have a Galaxy Watch now and I, I kind of miss it because I had like, I had five friends that had Fitbits too and it was kind of cool to see us challenge each other and that did help me a lot. But I just like the Galaxy Watch because especially when I'm driving, I don't have to like look on my phone or anything. Like when I get a text, I can just like see my, um, my watch real quick. Elizabeth Galvin, I feel like you should put all of the New Year's resolutions videos together and just compare all the BS the girls spews out. LL. I know. That's how I felt. I was like, dude, you've said a lot of this stuff over and over and over again for years now. Like, a lot of that stuff was nothing new. The only thing that I thought was kind of interesting was her talking about going back to school. I mean, I don't know. I feel like if you really felt serious about that, you would have done the steps that you needed to do that already because a lot of the schools have already, they've already had enrollment. <laughs> and so it's like, I don't know how you're going to get in any classes, but like... I don't know. That's why I was like, maybe she's going to do University of Phoenix. So that way, like, it's all online and you can do and start whenever you want and work at your own pace. But we'll see. Um, Donna Taylor, wishing you all the best for 2020. Michael, love your post. Donna XX. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. It's supposed to be a heart. Morgan Huns, is it just me or is she playing up some new calm personality? Like it still feels condescending, but she acting different when the... Yeah, I mean, I understand that people have like different facets of their personality. Um, like I kind of like get annoyed when Foodie Beauty does this too, where she'll like, she's like, hey guys, hey guys, hey, 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 um, it's me. It's, it's like the Shane Dawson thing. Like they put on this voice and it's like, that's not how you are, bitch. That's not how you are at all. Like, just be real. Don't like talking your sex operator voice like it's fucking weird 
Addie, what do you think will be the wake-up call for Amberlynn? Do you think she will survive this year at the rate she's going? I mean, I don't know. She's young, so she still has, like, a lot of leeway and a lot of allowances there. Um, I thought that the chronic UTI would be a wake-up call, but she's still going out to eat, so... Uh, Miss S.A. Hi, Michael. Love you from Costa Rica. We, we miss you. Oh, thank you. I want to go to Costa Rica so bad. I want to go on a cruise this summer. <laughs> I know I literally just talked about waste and I'm like, I want to go on a cruise. I don't know. I've always wanted to go to the Bahamas and I feel like the best way to do that would be like just a cruise. But I don't know. I don't think that's going to happen. I do also want to go to the Dominican Republic really bad. I would love to go to the Dominican Republic. Kailun, did we ever find out? Becky's mysterious sickness? No, we did not. We didn't. And we never will. <laughs> it's just going to be something that's going to be hypothesized forever, I guess. And we're just going to guess about it. Ugh. My cousin got me a um. My cousin got me a, ba a Bath and Body Works candle, and it's a burnt or burnt. It's a champagne toast one, and I really like it. I really enjoy it. Victoria Ann, have you applied for our RM program yet? I'm starting my last semester next week. I feel the same way about paper. Hope you feel. Hope you have a good New Year. No. Um. If I can crash one course then I can apply at the end of this semester. But if I can't, then I'm going to have to stay here for one more fucking semester. But I've already decided that... Because I have the credits to graduate, so I'm just going to graduate or whatever and then start a, a, like a psych bachelor's program here and just do that. Like if I can't get into that course, just so I'm like working towards something and then I'll apply again I'll, I'll finally get to apply in the fall. Hopefully they'll have some programs that are starting in the spring, but we'll see. I know my cousin got me the champagne toast um, soap and the candle. So I've been burning the candle. I really enjoy it. It smells really good. I usually, I usually just use sweater weather and flannel. Those are my two that I really enjoy. Hey girl, hey girl, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I like the way Zach does it more. I think he's more like, I think he's more funny when he does it, when he's like, like imitating them or mocking them. I don't know. I enjoy him more. <clears throat> I know I'm almost done. Can you hear that? It's almost gone. And I filled this up right before I started today. That's all she wrote. I've already drank two of these today, so this is my third one. I should probably not drink more water. That's a lot of water. I think this is 40 ounces. So that's 120 ounces of water. And I had a cold brew earlier. I've been drinking my cold brew at home. <clears throat> I'm an LPN and just got accepted to a pre-med program. I can't wait. Oh my God. Congratulations, Kristen. That's fucking hard. So yeah, I'm going to start winding down the stream. Um, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch on Wednesday and I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try to stream three days there. And then on Saturdays, I'm going to continue streaming here. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you so much to the super chatters for donating. Thank you guys all much for the, thank you guys to the channel members. Um, I have a post up that's members only right now in the community section of like what kind of things you guys would wanna see or do on there. So please feel free to comment underneath that and let me know. Um, we hit 70,000 subscribers, which is pretty nuts to me. So um, I'll probably be doing a Q and A here cause it's been a while since I've done one of those and I'll actually do it this time. <laughs> I won't say I'm going to do it and then not do it, but I'm going to actually do it. I hate this angle cause you can see the gap in my teeth right here. Like on this side, you can't see it. I, I have like a small gap right here and it looks bad, but, um, yeah. Thank you so much for the channel members. Feel free to write down there. Like what kinds of stuff you'd want to see. Addie, did you see the picture of Amber on her couch? Yeah, I did. It was not good, but, um, Thank you all so much for tuning in. And until next time, toodles.